What am I going to do in the next 16 years? What's the best thing I can do? Get ready to meet God. Believe there's not a God. All right. If I told you, you who don't believe in God, if I told you that this glass sprang into existence, this glass made itself, no man made this glass, would you believe it? Would you believe I just told you this thing made itself? No. No. Well, if this glass can't make itself, if I told you those clothes you have on wove themselves, nobody created them, those clothes made themselves, you wouldn't believe it. But if your, if your clothes didn't make itself, if that glass couldn't make itself, if this building didn't make itself, then how did the moon get out there? How did the stars and Jupiter and Neptune and Mars and the sun, how did nature, how, how did all this come here if didn't know why is something planning to make it? So what I'm saying is, I believe that we're going to be judged. It's a scary thing to think that I'm going to hell and to burn eternally forever. Because we live how long? 80 years? So, we don't have it about 80 years on earth. This is a test to see where will we spend our life in heaven or hell. This is not the life now. Your real self is inside you. Your body gets old. You don't have no teeth. Your hair is leaving you. Your bodies get tired. But your soul and your spirit never die. That's going to live forever, so your body is just housing your soul and spirit. So God is testing us on how we treat each other, how we live, to see where our real home be in heaven. So this physical stuff don't last for so long. So we don't stay here, we're just trustees, we don't own nothing. Even your children are not yours, your wife is not yours. You don't own your children, you don't own your family. The most important thing about life is what's going to happen when you die, are you going to go to heaven or hell? And that's eternity. So it just scares me to think that I'm going to die one day and go to hell. And to go to hell and God is going to judge my soul. The police, I might kill people. I might rob people. The FBI, Scotland Yard might not catch me. But when I die, somebody's watching me and keeping count. And I can't get away. And I'm going to burn forever and ever and ever. I'll go to heaven. So what am I going to do when I'm through fighting? I only have 16 years to be productive. Get myself ready to meet God and go to the best place. Does that make sense?